I think the party were hoping I would just leave, but I'm not going to do that because I can already see how the next set of gender critical Green Party women are being lined up for public humiliation and vilification. Officers of the party are publicly naming them as supporters of torture and as right wing extremist reactionary factions opposed to the party progressive policies. These women are my friends and I'm not going to stand by and let the same thing happen to them as has happened to me, Dawn Furness, Deborah Fink, Claudine Let's Say, Robbie Spence, Andy Healy, to name but a few. I fully expect to collect a few more complaints as a result of some of the things I have said here today to add to the fistful I have already, but it makes little difference to me now. I cannot see the party allowing me back in because I might frighten the more delicate members. But I have to fight because I'm incensed by the idea of women being put through the ringer for understanding the reality of our lives as female and of teenage girls being made to feel uncomfortable and unkind for wanting the privacy of a female only space when they're getting changed or being made to feel that they have some kind of privilege over straight white men because they are lucky enough to have been born female. There are some fantastic people in the Greens who have worked their 100% organic cotton socks off to build a compassionate earth-centered party and I'm not prepared to slip quietly out of the way, especially as I've had four years of being called a turf and a transphobe, so I've grown a tough carapace and if I walk away some other member is going to be made into a target and I don't want to see other women have to go through the toughening process and to have to grapple with the fact that however confident you are that you're a decent person, it's hard not to be affected at all by the people calling you a racist, right-wing, anti-Semitic, transphobic bigot. Women who just want to have a space to run a book club and yoga sessions and talk about the climate do not deserve to have chunks taken out of them for knowing that sex matters.